This is Matt from Dice Around Table, and this one I'm going to do my Bot Wars Starter Set, 2nd Edition. And let's take a look at what's inside this starter set. I found this on um, sale at my local FLGS, and it's been something I've been looking for, uh, trying, looking forward to trying, and so uh, I went ahead and grabbed it. The box is uh, very compact which is really nice and inside the box comes with a tape measure gives you plenty of power cubes which works with uh, activation of the miniatures comes with this pouch which has all the custom dice in it and I do uh, give lots of kudos this is really nice packaging if you want looking to store them uh, it does come with red dice black dice, comes with one regular d6 for the game, and there's also purple dice. And the dice are for um, your attacks, you're rolling for defense, you have critical dice, and so forth. So it does come with your custom dice there, the little pink cubes, and then you do get cards for all the figures in the pack. So this tells you your cubes, here's your stats for the game, health tracking, so if you slide this into a card sleeve you can write on the card, really great. So the starter comes with Atlanticans and Valiants, so there we go. The Atlanticans, you have this little like crown as their icon, points, and their special abilities are at the bottom. <clears throat> For the Valiants, you're going to get this as their icon. And then these are your cards that you get in here. This is Angel, Top Star, and Aegis. Now, the I didn't get any before shots. Um, so these are my Atlanticans painted up. What I did is uh, the bases do come separate. These were in pouches. And I'm guessing the material is resin, but it's, it, it's really nice plastic. Um, so, not as, it's not like a normal soft plastic, they are hard plastic, and they were in a pack together, so you really have to take the time to match up your arms to the body first before assembling, and what I did is, because again, I don't know how often I'm going to play this, I did put everyone's name on the bases on the front and the back and painted the names on to help me remember who is who to match the cards and I also didn't want to do um, the card art on the paint job I wanted a unifying paint scheme so my Atlanticans would look the same so I did them as a green Then my Valiants, again, I, I did put their name on the bottom of their base, on the front and back. So you can tell the Valiants definitely have a little bit of variety in their size. And their health kind of matches that. So such as Moray here is a 6th health figure. And this is Duke, who is a 10 health figure. Whereas, um, who was I thinking of? These guys, um, they're called a combiner set, so technically there's one missing from the starter. So if you get the other one that's missing, then they can form into a giant. But these are four health each, where Aegis is four health each. Again, on the smaller side for the Valiants. And top stars for health 
Angel is a little bit taller, so she's 5 health. And here's Wolf back here, and Wolf is a 6 health character. So, their size does kind of impact. Now, Wolf is a 6 um, health figure, but he's on a smaller base. So, the bases don't always match up to necessarily the health or... Um, even value because more raise nine points and angels nine points where wolf is 12 points so the base size uh, I think is based on the, the designers choice um, I feel like more ray and stingray could have been on a smaller base like wolf but it is what it is um, what I also did with mine is because I store them in a magnetic base tray is I actually put a washer inside of their bases and this actually provides some um, weight so they can't really be knocked over unless you're really going Phew. so it's a nice counterweight to them so if you're interested in bot wars I'm going to do some plays with my starter set that will be recorded but this is going to be the first unboxing I'm really excited with how these painted up really nicely I was torn with a couple different ideas on the Valiant paint scheme, but I went with this blue and white paint scheme, which I think turned out really well. Thanks for watching. Any questions, drop in a comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video if you appreciate it. Um, and talk to you next time.